So how the heck do you remove the front panel on this Gateway DX4860? I had a comment in my review video asking how to do just that and I'm going to show you how to do that today. First off I want to apologize for the video lighting. It's not very good. Um, I'm still working with what I got so apologize for that. And I also apologize for the time of this video being created and uploaded. It's supposed to be done a while ago but I have projects that I'm rendering on this computer that as you can see I have to unplug the computer and um, so I had to put those projects on hold for this video. So I'm going to show you how to take off that front panel. Um, I do it all the time, it's possible and I uh, hope this video helps. So first thing you're going to need is a screwdriver. This is a flathead screwdriver but um, I actually recommend getting like a, a Phillips head or something like that. It's just a little bit better to work on the screws. <clears throat> so let's turn her around. Now if you look there are screws here but if you look on the left side they're riveted in so you can't take that panel off but no need to worry because all you gotta do is take this panel off here so let's do that okay slide her off So with that left panel being riveted, it's not removable unless you got a, a drill, a power drill. You need a power drill to take these out. And then again, you'd have to uh, re-rivet it. It's not removable, <laughs> so I wouldn't attempt it. So we have the left panel off, exposing the insides. So now if you guys remember the review, this is all the same. I haven't changed anything. What you have to do is... Start off by taking off your CPU fan. So we'll unplug the uh, the little plug that goes to the motherboard. Okay. And now we're going to take the CPU heat sink off along with the fan. Okay, that's off. Now we're going to do the video card, which is right here. This is our video card. This is not included with the machine. And the power supply is also not included with the machine. This, These are both upgraded parts here. Start off by unplugging the video card. This is the power cable for the video card. We're going to pop open our release and then push the tab and pull it out. Took a little bit of muscle work, but uh, we got it. This is just a little, uh, I don't know, old GTS 250. Eh, it's alright. So we're going to put this over here. And you'll notice that I'm not wearing any type of static bands. Um, I feel you don't need them. I don't know, it's just my preference. But there's always a risk of damaging your parts. So take caution while doing this. So, next thing we have to do is remove the RAM, which is right here. RAM. This model includes 8 gigs. So there's 4 two gigabyte sticks four of these alright so we have our RAM out now what we have to do is there's a nice little uh, cable management system right here we're going to actually unclip this let me bring in a little bit closer so you guys can see that it's right here it's this little plastic uh, piece right here. What we're going to do is just flip that open. There we go. 
and take all the cables out of there. Okay, all the cables are out. Okay, so now what we have to do is unplug our hard drive. This comes with a one terabyte hard drive. And we're going to unscrew with this here, with this screw right here. We're going to unscrew this and take the hard drive bay right out. And there we go. So as far as removing things, that's it. Now here comes the tricky part. You'll notice in here, and I have a flashlight here just for extra lighting, you'll notice that there are tabs. They're pretty visible on the left side here. I'll show you those now. That's a tab. That's a tab. And then there's one one more way down there at the bottom. And that's a tab. So there's three tabs up the left or the right side. I guess left depending on how you're looking at it. But um so there's three tabs on this side here. But if there's three tabs on here, then there's also going to be three tabs on the other side, which you have to look in, and you got to kind of find these. These are tucked away, way back here. Let me get all the cables out of the way. There's a tab right there. And just like the other side, they're all tucked up way back on the side of this side of the panel. They're all tucked up in there. So, it involves a little bit of work, which I'm gonna show you right now. So let's remove these first three tabs. Just push them. You gotta kinda just push them away from you. And they will sort of release the panel. So if you saw that, the panel is now, it's now loose on this side, but now we have to go in and get the other side. So like I said, those tabs are tucked away inside and you really have to look for those. There's one down there I'm going to push right there. I'm just going to push that in and it, these take a little bit of work. Now through the toughness of this. It looks like um, Gateway don't doesn't want you to take this panel off because the fact that they make that side panel non-removable is enough to tell you that they don't want you removing this. So I'm just gonna give this a this is more of a pull. So last time what we did was we pushed away but now on this side over here you're gonna grab it and if you can see the motion of my finger pull it toward you and it will pop out so now let's go get the other one I'm gonna try showing you a little better angle of where this other tab is just so you guys can see so that second that second tab see it right above my finger right there you guys can see that black tab sticking out it's directly above the corner of the phone right there that's the second tab we gotta pull so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually pull it out like this okay so there's the tab.
Now check this out. Hope you guys saw that. Um, it was a pull motion and I kind of just pushed it out. So that's the second tab there. Okay, and the third tab is way tucked up on top. So what you have to do to get to that one is turn, let's turn this around to the front. Okay, so if you're looking at the computer from the front, this is the right side. And as you can see, the two bottom tabs that we pulled on from the inside of the computer are loose. So really, it's just as simple as a little pull. And now that the front panel, just checking to make sure you guys can see that. Now that the front panel is basically off, what you have to do is come back to the front. This has three tabs up here that you really want to be careful with because they're small and they're really thin. So taking this off is just nothing but a pull from the sides. If you take if you take your hands and you kind of go up a little bit and you pull. Now that sounded pretty brutal, but it, it's not going to break as long as you're careful. So let me give you a little top view of this. So here's the front. And really I'm just doing this with one hand and it will just come right off just like that and there you go the front panel is completely removed the tabs are still intact make sure that you don't break any tabs because um, you won't be able to uh, get a nice flush you know seam if you put it back on it'll just kind of be flopping around a little bit so uh, there you go guys that was taking off the front panel I hope this in instructional video helped you out and um, I'm actually going to show you how to put it back on really quick so what you got to do is you got these three tabs here one on the left one in the middle one on the right and you just want to line up all the ports and make sure these tabs get underneath make sure these tabs here get up underneath this so they can clip in properly Let's see if I can do this with one hand there you go alright so I've turned it on the side so you guys can see it a little bit better and what you're going to do is you're going to want to take your screwdriver because getting these tabs back in, um, and this is the side with the sticker, if you're looking at it straight on, it's the right hand side, and it's these three tabs that you had to kind of mess with from inside the computer. So what you wanna do to get these tabs back in is get uh, your screwdriver, and I recommend a flathead for this. You gotta kind of push on the tab. Let's get a closer view of that. You actually have to push on the tab push straight in and then push down with your hand like push in with your hand because the tab has like a little locking mechanism in it and uh, it takes a little bit of work to actually get it in so you gotta I'll show you one more time you gotta push it in push it straight in and then you'll see the the panel kinda go in a little bit there then you just gotta do the same thing for this side for the, the second tab, just give a little bit of a push. And then the last tab on the bottom, just a little bit of a push. And it'll click in place. All right, so as far as the uh, other side goes, it's actually pretty simple. You're just gonna line up the tabs. This one will uh, be pushed out a little bit, so just kind of line it up in the hole. And it's just as simple as pushing it all back in. And there you go, guys. The front panel is reinstalled. Hope this guy's helped you. And again, I'm sorry for the time of this video being so late. But, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.